we still summer? Is it still summer? It's yeah. in the middle. It's the heart of. We're in a crazy heat wave. It We're is it's everywhere, summer. all over the world. But it just seems like it's kind what of dragging it's on just a bit. Six no, weeks. don't say that. Oh, oh no, I hate really? summer to end. Yeah, I, don't want to I, I hate it to end too. But oh. I'm kind of feeling it. I am all about fall and winter. Oh, you are summer, yes. summer, summer. Coats, bags, boots. Not me. There you go. Gloria's all about the food. Amy's all about the clothes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so why are we called on the rags? Well, we are on the rags because we are Risa, Amy, Gloria, Sloan. Sloan. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening, everybody? Should we talk about? I learned in the in the news today. Did you read in the news today that no. the CDC declared that we should yes. not be traveling to Ireland or to Greece? Now, I would like everybody to know that Gloria and I just got back from Greece on Thursday night. Isn't that great? Well, Isn't that I great? mean, I like so that we're in, you, a, we're in a sm- little stuffy room. Well, you just, you just made it. No masks. <laughs> just so you know, though, I honestly have to say that I was tested probably eight times in the last three weeks. Yeah. Twice on no, my way back. No, you did it well. There's a way to do it well that's, that's safe, and you did it that way. So that's no, good. we did. I mean, we yeah. were tested constantly. Well, but not what, constantly, but, what, but enough. What happens if you test positive? That's and what you're I there. Too. <laughs> they throw you in jail. What good is it they to throw be you in tested jail. constantly? They would have put you in, your room. in quarantine. In quarantine. Okay. They would have put you in a hotel or yeah, someplace something. in All quarantine right. for two you're weeks. Stuck. Yeah. Eating Greek food. Well, that's not, not too There you go. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. <laughs> it was yeah. very nice. So anyway, um, that was the headline that I saw this morning. Yeah. Well, I would say there's no bigger headline than a governor... Your boyfriend. Oh, my New God. Ex boyfriend. Yeah, you're. I ex-friend. woke up with him a long time ago. Well, you were going with his brother, too. So I'm very I know. confused. I, well, I, I know. I, I think mean, it's... I can pile it on. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Speaking of dating, <laughs> yeah, I've got lots to talk about. I think no, in a minute, though. I yeah. talk about it. But I think his brother's going to have some issues, too. You do. Sadly, I do. No, no, no. I, don't, I wouldn't oh, want to yes, be a politician. Yes, yes. That's all I have to say. Yes, yes. Well, I yes. think he's going to yeah. have. I problems he's, because he's the brother no he, he also was on the calls with his advisors yes yes that's he true is. but he was no he got in a little trouble for yeah that. he did because he's a journalist but more of a little oh, slap on yeah, the hand than than a that's resigning a the governor but what i don't get why didn't he it's his brother he knows his phone number he knows where he lives why didn't he have private conversations with him no he instead no, of where he did I'm also, sure he said, will you be on my team, bro, you know, for feedback? I mean. And you work at CNN? Yeah. Not, not, yeah. not, 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 not so smart. bright. Not smart. No. Not yeah. smart. Yeah. I don't know which is less bright, that yeah. or seducing your assistant. <gasps> or wait, many. In, <laughs> Allegedly. In, wait, Allegedly. In, in so many. 2020 after yeah. what the world has been through in the Me Too era in the last, what, four years? Well, that's why it's kind More. of unbelievable. More? But I'm Five taking, years? I'm taking no sides here. How many years has Me Too been going on? I four, don't know. Three? F- four or five. Four? Okay. Yeah. It was it was pre-Trump, right? No. So, oh, yeah. The oh, Me yes. Too movement? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's at pre- least six years. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Though. So we're yeah, talking about your boyfriend. So <laughs> Moving we're talk- along. Yes. Are we talking about dating? Should we talk about dating? That's yeah. what we should talk well, about in this podcast well, we tonight. We were going to talk about... Um, Drake. Well, that was a headline. Yeah, Drake. That was my favorite headline, and oh. it did happen a couple of weeks ago where Drake took out his date on an intimate dinner at Dodger Stadium, <laughs> and they had a bartender nearby. What is it, intimate dinner? There was I mean, no, he rented out the yeah, whole, whole stadium. stadium. There was no baseball game. No, he rented out the whole stadium, and then I thought, nobody took me out on a date like that ever. Rented that out would whole- give me anxiety. I'd be like, do you know how many... People you can feed? Am I being yeah. too like no, goody two not. shoes? I mean, no, that just you seems. Wouldn't. Yes, I. What that seems crazy. Maybe they well, gave it to him for a bargain. Crazy. Maybe they gave him it to. If they for gave a it to him for free, and okay. how just do you for the know, publicity. How maybe. do you know how much he doesn't give to feed, well, maybe he feed does. America or whatever? Even anyway. if you gave a million dollars to feed America, the six hundred grand you spent on your date would have been nice well, maybe there too. it was free if you gave a million dollars to feed Fine. america then i'm all okay for it. then oh, there you go for it. It. There or maybe it. too i don't know the, i'm sure the dodgers have their own charitable organization they do. so, yeah. so yes, maybe so. he did 
give that to, right probably i wonder if they ate the Hopefully. nachos i wonder if they ate the nachos there only <laughs> only <laughs> they a bartender, would wonder they that. did have a bartender nearby yes standing nearby uh, yeah. and it was an intimate dinner so they didn't yes. have to use their flasks i guess not yeah. <laughs> okay well, i guess all right well look, let's talk about have you ever tell me when it, let's hear what your be, amy let's hear what your best date has ever I been i am the worst person to ask about any of this because do you know how many dates I've been on in my life how many? since you've been married or before uh, <laughs> let's just keep it keep it clean so I don't get in trouble Bef- before okay, okay yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I I don't know one no two are you've you had, kidding you've had boyfriends no. so you had to go out on a date I with know, them first. I mean, I'm like here's, ridiculous. here's how I'm kind of identified with the U-Haul lesbian thing yes and why I probably knew that joke is because I'm kind of that same way. Like we go on one date. Yeah, I guess <laughs> in this way, we, I go on one date and I'm in a relationship. Yeah, I, 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 I can I empathize. Never, I, I can that. empathize. But so, you did go on a date with all these different people once. <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, not really. Yeah, not wait, technical so wait dates a as a grown up. You moved in with every boyfriend after the first date? I didn't move in with one of them, but I've only had like three boyfriends. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. All right, wait, hold on. <laughs> kind of. Did you go out with Fred on Fred a date? Fred and I did go on a date. So he's kind of like my only date. I had one other with a guy. Wait, you went that, on a, wait, help okay. me understand. You went on a date with Fred. I went on a date with Fred. And the next day that was at the let's end move of in? that date. At the end of that date, mm-hmm. he was saying, we're done. Like, this is it. We're done. Okay. And was it so, that way? Wait a minute. Every, wait, we're done. We're done. Now we're going to be together, or yeah. we're done. We're, we're never going to see other people. Oh. This oh. is it. You oh, I can hear him saying oh. that too yeah. somehow. Yeah, I can totally. Hear I love it. that. And I was like, okay. Then I gave him like twenty questions. Like, what do you feel about this? What do you feel about this? Do you own any guns? How long was this? How many first date? kids do you have? Like five hours, six hours. I get it. And then we were together. So like, I never really dated around. I did go on one date with some guy. Nice guy. He had a car that he thought was very impressive. I don't really care. We drive around. I can tell he really cares that he's impressing me with his car. And I'm like, you're not impressing me with your car. I don't care. And then I never saw him again. Okay. And so that's clearly you weren't that, 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 like a very, very clearly you weren't that impressed with his car. I was. I don't care about anybody's car. Well, that's a good date. Well, so well, you know, that's yeah. it. Like that's my date. It's so sad. that's kind of. Your good date, Fred, and your bad date was this guy's car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Hit okay. A, you're hit not. A, hit a little dick. Stop. He did. No, <laughs> that's not being rude. He did. Otherwise, he wouldn't be trying to impress you with his oh car. Oh my god. That, that's not I don't being want to rude. Think about it, even. No. Really? Yeah, I really don't. I, I don't really blame like. You. Okay. I don't like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Well, Sloan, what's your what was your best date? Oh, I. Well, I'd have to say it was my husband. Of course right? you oh, do. Of course <laughs> I mean, I'd have to say that. Yes. And what oh was it? Oh, my God. <laughs> We've had so many great dates. Oh. Um, have you ever had a bad date with him? Yes. Uh, let's hear about that one. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. And this was on the third date. By the way, the third date, I came to his house. And he invited me for dinner. And I thought he was going to have a chef cooking wants to show me his uh, art, his Uh home. And I walk in, and he walks out and greets me. And as I'm clicking my car locked, he says, I'd just like to remind you, this is the third date. Most people get shtupped. I certainly (laughs) hope I am planning on getting kissed. Oh, well, kissed. Okay. So um, I should have not even come in after that. He started the third date with the word (laughs) shtup. Most people get shtup. I'm certainly planning on getting kissed. So he gives me the tour of the house. And I said, (laughs) I uh, I thought we were eating. Very funny. Yeah. He said, we are. I said, well, I don't smell anything wafting from the kitchen. (laughs) And he takes me in the kitchen. He's he had picked up two entrees and two salads. He said, pick one and nuke it and pick one and toss it. And he walked off (gasps) and went into his living room and put his legs up to watch (laughs) TV. That's a good date. Oh my God. So that's Are your, you does, kidding? Was that your best or your worst? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, wait, but, but you married Wait, wait, I know. Like, don't, I'm, yeah, you married I'm stupid. Him. What can I tell you? So I get home that she night. She must have been very way. impressed by did the Did you kiss him? I want to know. Okay, okay, yeah, great. So did you kiss he, him? He had entertainment. His daughter, oh. who's in the entertainment business, had overnighted him 
uh, music from the concert at Mustique, where all those Sting and mm-hmm. Bono yeah. and everybody had st- sung for the hurricane victim. Mm-hmm. So he got kissed. I drove home. And I'm home like half an hour. And I, I lived near downtown Dallas. He was out, out north. And I thought, that jerk hasn't called to see if I got home okay. I mean, I got nothing to lose here. So I called him and I said, and he goes, hello. Dead asleep, uh-huh. 30 minutes later. Yeah. I said, in case you're wrecked and, and <laughs> unable to sleep, wondering if I made it home okay, I just wanted to let you know I'm alive. And he went, he didn't know first whether I was joking or and yeah. was, started howling. Then I couldn't get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> he called yeah. every 30 minutes. Are you at work yet? Are you home yet? Or did you make it to lunch yet? Make it to yoga yet? Can yeah. I ask you a question speaking of yeah. difficult men? Well, not even difficult men, just men, period. High maintenance men. Well, no. Although men What's the question? No, this really yes. has nothing to do with anything. But, but I'm curious about this. And this maybe should be my raggery. Well, then save it. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Well, I'm halfway into it. Okay, now. go ahead. Go ahead. Give, go it, ahead, go ahead. give it. Well, you already know the answer for you because I've witnessed it. What? But do your partners pull out the chair for you in a restaurant? Truth. No. Does Michael pull sometimes. it? Sometimes he? he did. He does sometimes. Sometimes Fred does. A lot. I but like not, that. I like it. Then, yeah, I, then I'll save it for my raggery. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, now that you're talking, do you, can you talk about your best yes, date? Yes. Let's hear. Your okay, best date. My best date was my first date with my husband. We were in Los Angeles and we went to a movie to the cinema in Westwood and saw- Is that when you moved in uh, with him though? That wasn't your first date, right? It was our first date. Well, you met him in St. Louis, didn't you? But it wasn't a date. Our first date was out here. And um, I'm watching Amy with her Sorry. Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Trying not to be loud. Opening Chugar. Um, <laughs> so we went for an Indian re- we went to an Indian restaurant, mm-hmm. and um, he was vegetarian then, I guess. And he told me he was Hindu, and I believed him. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He's got an imagination. He's got that great funny. sense of humor. And an well. imagination, funny. very dry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we went to see, but I forgot the name of the movie. But maybe Magic is what it was called. Who was oh. in that? Maybe Magic. Oh, it was called Magic? Yeah, who was in that? I'm not sure. Just uh, magic? Like Oliver Reed or something about a, about a puppet? Oh, oh I, don't, I have no, no. idea. Hmm. Were, you li- would you, were you staying with him when you went on your first date with him? When yeah. you came from St. Louis and you... St- In a you different st- room. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Is that true? It was a first date. Unlike, know, but- unlike the stripping over here. <laughs> third date, he said that. Third oh, date. yeah, by the third mm-hmm. date. Mm-hmm. But he did not get stripped. No, but stuck. he was right. He, but he did was... not get stripped on the third date. Many, many, many <laughs> Did you want to dates later. talk about a bad date? Um, all the dinners, my husband never pulled out the chair for me. Oh. Oh. Now, maybe if he listens to this, he will. Maybe he will. He won't. Do you want to hear about my maybe date? Maybe he will. I do. Yes. Well, of course, we all have to talk about our significant others. That has <laughs> to be our best date. Yeah. But... It's kind of a wonder that my boyfriend is still with me because it wasn't our first date, but he did take me on a trip. He took me to Puerto Vallarta and I had never been. On your first trip? On your first date? No. Okay. But we had been dating for a couple, a few months. This is funny. And he never, I had never been to Mexico except for to Tijuana because there was a, they shoot movies in Tijuana because there was a big, where they shot the Titanic. We think of water. They shot the Titanic. I've been there for movie sets. And so he took me to Puerto Vallarta, and I was very excited about it. And so we went, and we had it was a nice hotel, great flight. We had a really nice time. And then he took me, he wanted to go snorkeling, and we went on this boat, and it was very hot. And and we we had to take the boat out to this beautiful reef to go snorkeling. And I, you know, somebody was talking to us about what we had to do, and it was really hot, and the boat was really rocky. And I looked at him. And I went, can you excuse me for a minute? <laughs> I went to the side of the boat, girl off the boat and I puked. And then I came back and I said, I'm sorry. And he still liked me after that. Oh, why not? <laughs> I mean, he's better. <laughs> I hope so. She tried to kiss him. No, no. I didn't. Oh, I gross. did not. Oh, gross. God, I did not. Well, I should tell you about my first date with Fred. Yes. Okay. About Please. the actual first date. Yes. All right. Because it was great. Six and hours. also, it almost didn't happen. On our first date, he was so late oh. picking me up. Oh. 45 minutes. Oh, ooh, glad it wasn't Risa. 
Well, <laughs> I was. I know she would have Ooh. had his head. Yeah, oh, I wanted I to. I was so mad. Like I'm pacing around my place. Oh, that's. But did he like, call? That's like a statement. No, he that's did not statement. even call. What? Oh, how? Maybe uh, it was 30 minutes or 25 okay. minutes. Right, I felt I like an hour. I don't terrible. know. I don't know. I mean, but it was late, and he did not call. And so I was at the point where I was like, I don't want to call him or text him. Like, where are you? You know, just you're, he's coming or he's not. So I'm, but I'm thinking maybe he's not coming, but I kind of felt like he was. Anyway, I'm so, I was like pacing around thinking, should I leave? Should I just drive away and go somewhere so that I'm not here when he comes? I don't. He ends up, I think it was like a gate that you would buzz that he was there. So I knew he was there. And I come out the gate and he is no longer standing by the gate. He's leaning against his car. Oh, shoot. <laughs> like, it's kind of dark. And he's leaning against his car in like a little cool outfit. And he was like, and all cool. Cool. Not, not, not one of those spandex outfits, was it? Close. So he was wearing these tight <laughs> jeans. I was like, oh, no. He was wearing these tight jeans that had like a little thing on the knee. And I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if I can do this. It was like stage clothes, like a teeny little drop of stagey clothes. Yeah. And I'm used to like, oh, you know. Like oh. zero, like a negative attention to oh. self. No metrosexuals for no, you? No, not even close. So we have the best date ever. It was so much fun. And as a matter of fact, on the drive here, and I told him, well, yeah, we might talk about dates, whatever. He goes, oh, you should tell them how I uh, ate, how you ate my hand on our first date. Ooh. Did you? Did you? Yes. Why? So we're sitting there at dinner, and he holds my hand, and we're having the best time. So I'm <laughs> holding, so Fred's holding my hand, I'm holding his hand, and I feel on his hand, because he's a drummer, crazy calluses. Oh. You are biting his calluses. <laughs> yes. No. Oh, yes. oh my gross. God. Oh, like, I just, it start. you know how I get salivate and like yeah. a little crazy? I get tactile yes, crazy. Yeah, cats like, and dogs. I chew not, the dogs. Not, I almost chewed you one you time. He started chewing his hands? Mm -hmm. <laughs> did he like it? We do have a little vixen he here. He totally did. He did like it. He did like, I mean, he was oh, freaked out. Oh, I bet he out. liked it. So there was this point where I was like chewing his hand. In and the he restaurant. was just sitting there like, Ew. what are you doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh. But I just loved it. Like, how you can bite as hard as you want. Not like nothing. So are you, you just the, naturally weird? Yeah. So are you the sort too that if you see a blackhead on somebody, you have to go and get it Stop. out? Stop. Why? Yes. If <laughs> they're my friend, that. if they're yes. my, if you're my friend, and there's anything going on, I'm going to get it. Yeah. Oh God. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell you. Oh, no, I had I had a friend. I'm gonna like tell that you, too. and I'm gonna get it. So anyway, so we have this really great. We had a great date. Then they come to find out. A few weeks later, a few months later, after we're definitely together. So he had a roommate at the time. They lived on La Cienega, um, like a high rise thing. Anyway, his roommate said he was late picking me up because on he purpose. stood there oh. in front of the mirror for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, Trying whatever, going, should I tuck it in? Should I leave it out? <laughs> should I tuck it in? <laughs> leave it out. <laughs> I'm like, both tucked in, one out, two out, <laughs> one in. Oh, oh no, I can see it. I can see it. Me too. Oh, me too. I, I can God. too. That's hysterical. Oh. So I got the story, which made That's it cute. a little more okay, but still. You have to know. Well, we everybody knows your husband because we've had him on as a guest. Right, right. I know. I know. So adorable. But it's funny how like the things. He still drives me crazy being late sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know? I, yes, I've witnessed. Yes, you know. Yes. I, I've gotten so mad before because he's like tucking it in or pulling it out. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I know. At all. <laughs> you know what I mean. I read this in the news today that about 15% of all Americans are on dating sites. Okay. Well, if you weren't with a partner now. I would be too. Yeah, of course. Where else do you meet people? Right. Well, young, do. I don't care who don't it is, know. young, old. I know many people so that have I. gotten married right. to right. meeting Mary, people. Me Absolutely. And so, but you have to remember, but you should read some of your headlines. You have to remember to be discerning, smart. There are a lot of phonies out there. There's and a lot murderers. of fraud Kidnappers. phonies. You have to be careful about who you communicate with and not give any of your personal information 
and not com- not give your personal email, not give your personal no. name. But until when? You really- how do you know? I mean, do you get a PI? How do you know? I have. Well, do you ever get those emails saying, I'm from Nigeria? And can you oh, wire yeah. Me some yeah, all the time. <laughs> like it's that kind of thing. You just yeah. have to be careful. <laughs> Well, the the problem with dating well, sites is that it just nobody has a real accountability, right? Even what do you mean? But uh, even though there just, are sites, you, you know click. what? When I googled that today, there's m- numbers of places that if you have been, you think that there's something going on, you can contact these people. They're protection agencies, yeah, and they will if they'll investigate and they'll get to the bottom of it because you really should. I know I did. I would get, I would get private investigators when I'd go out with people after I was divorced. You would. Right, but not everybody can do that. I know. Right. I know, but you have to be you have to be your mother got involved No, with, no, no, of course, and she still What happened? This is probably uh, let's see. 4 years ago. Mm. It's got to be because we lost a year in there. We get a call. My mother gets a call from this guy who I knew well from my business, and I even spoke to his graduates. He taught at the business school in Dallas, a course on entrepreneurship. So he seemed like his kids all went to very expensive private schools and colleges, et cetera. So mother calls me and says, guess who called me to go to lunch? She was so excited. Now, her husband died in 2014 years ago, so she had been alone. This is probably now 10 years she's alone. And it was kind of like for her, like you, when she got married the first time, 18, 19, it's mm-hmm. so simple. N- next time she gets a divorce, remarries two days after a divorce, it's final. So, you know, yeah. she thinks it's that easy. You just yeah. go on a date and you get married kind of yeah. thing. That's what Which Amy does. I've had do. the extreme opposite life of yeah. you and my mother. So anyway, um, so after she's gone to lunch and I said, Mom, it's lunch. What's the big deal? So... He calls us like a week or two later. Can he come talk to me and Don about this business he wants to start? And now he's 81 or two at the time. And Don had been in the uh, nursing home, skilled nursing home and memory care business for decades now. So this guy wanted to start a memory care business. and But your mother yeah. knew him. She yeah, had she, known him. She, but she didn't, re- she knew him, but didn't really know him. But he wasn't somebody she met on a dating site. No. Mm. But okay. that just shows you con yes. men can con- be yeah. right in our, w- with us. Anyway, a long story short, I don't want to use all of our time, but he ended up being absolutely a skilled con man, thought she was a society woman with money and, and had a... A daughter and a son-in-law that could help put him in business. So he was like a dirty John. You know, after I was went through a divorce, I have my very good friend Meg. We won't give her a last name. She's brilliant, smart, funny. I've known her for a very long time, and she said, "Go on J date," and then she started sending me pictures of people on J date. And I thought, "All right, fine, I'll go on J date." So I did, and then you know there was I'd look through the pictures, and there was somebody that I thought was attractive, and. I contacted him, and he didn't answer. Hmm. And then I contacted again, and this is a game that I you could I could see. So then he answered, and he goes, "Okay, I don't usually do this, but you've caught my attention." And then we started yeah. communicating on that site. I'm smart enough. I'm business. I don't woman. usually do this, right. but my but, my right. profile's here. here. Yeah, right. right, right. Okay, so then he's communicating, communicating, and after or, or like, you're lucky because I'm answering you. You're, right. You know. Yeah. So there yeah. was a couple of a few days and talking through this site and talking through the site and then he was like i think i'm falling in love already i'm thinking to myself okay that's bullshit and you not <laughs> met you hadn't met yet it's like a week we right or he lived okay. in arizona okay that's where he's and he was in arizona, Whoa, arizona. doing a, cha- a charity My people location or something whatever sometimes. so then he would do these things one day he sends me pictures and he goes this is my apartment in rome and i i wrote back to him and i said those are pictures from a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and then then he was like supposedly a piano player. Okay, so then he s- sends me a musical thing on, on this thing. And he goes, I wrote this song for you. Oh my God. I listened to the song and then I say, no, you didn't. That song is from the 20s. I know music. Oh. What was that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know music. I go, you didn't write that song. Okay, then 
<laughs> then one day he says, you know, I, I played I played piano at, at a charity event for sick children. Now, let me say something. Okay, if you, if you play at an event, it's for St. Jude's or Children's Hospital. Sick children. It's what is there that is. It's a, a it, big umbrella. But there is in Toronto a hospital called Hospital for Sick Children. That's okay, well, then it could have been the Toronto Hospital yeah. for Sick Children. Could have been, Not, but he was in Arizona. Yeah, and yeah, sending yeah, you yeah, pictures yeah. So then I, I, so. I, of course, called every single place that could have had music, and he didn't. And I said to him, no, you didn't. So he figured that I'm catching on. And then, then he decides, <laughs> he writes to me, and he goes, I don't think that this is working out. No, no also women will go, no, 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 it, it is. Yeah. But I'm right. like, okay, fine. And then he tried to offer me a job. And I was like, I have a job. Offered a salary, a car, whatever. Oh and I was like, gosh. I go, I have a job. And But eventually I thought, okay, this is ridiculous. But what happened was on this site, so this woman wrote to me on this site, private message, to me on his and said, I wish I was as smart as you. I fell into that. She flew to Arizona, oh. got to know him. He gave her a six carat diamond, which turned out to be a cubic zirconia. He wound up writing checks on her checking account. And it turned out that he was on parole in Arizona. And she's, and, but she, scary. she yeah. fell right into that. So the FBI were now going through all of his stuff. That's how she found me. So it, it, look, I'm a smart woman. Yeah, but you didn't uh, fall for it. I didn't. But I'm just saying to but everybody, don't Lisa, fall. doesn't mean you're not smart if fall. you fall for it. No, it like, people right. are that so manipulative. Smart. Yeah. Because you're, you feel, it feels good for somebody to be paying that much attention to yeah. you. Yeah. I want to say something to our male uh, listeners as well, because I had a father. Oh, it was, happens to men too. Who was a dating addict. Ew. Mm. He was on so many websites. Really? Oh, my God. One night, I was throwing him a, I don't remember if it's his 60th birthday, 65th birthday, a party. And I'd come home from work, and this girl who helped me was, we were setting up all the tables and doing the flowers all night. And about eight or nine o'clock, the doorbell rang. And it was a girl, and you know, I'm not short, but this girl looked like <laughs> Jack and the Bean stuff. I mean, she must have been six, six or something, but half her hair was black and half blonde. She had just gotten released from jail. Oh. oh. And my father flew her in. How did you find her? her? Like from one of the sites? Well, there's a lot of jailbait.com or all kinds of different. <laughs> Is that true? Oh, I'm yes. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yes. And all these men send money to these girls and they write them very kinky letters. Yeah. And they, this is a whole oh, day. You learn something no, new could, every day. I mean, I could tell you st Crazy. many stories, but yeah. the, I was like, I got to get out of here because yeah. this girl could have knifed me in the back or killed <laughs> my cats or, I mean, uh, she was, the next day he sent her for extreme makeover and she looked pretty good when she got in that night. No way. Dinner. But I mean, uh, wow. these girls manipulate. Were they a oh, no, a no, 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 no. No, but she would, but she was legit she, she told him what she oh, did. Oh, well, he knew. Wait, but there are people, there's a whole right slew of people, male and female, that do this as a job. It's shopping. No, it's move your mic closer to okay. your mouth. It's there, kind of like shopping for people, dates, you know? You're just like, oh, no, but there's this. people that do this, this that like it's that all at your fingertips. Yeah. You can have whatever nuanced thing that you want. You could just Well, actually, Amy, date. one of the girls I saw at your adopt I won't say her name, at the adoption thing the yeah. other day. Yeah. Told me the story. She was like, mm -hmm. I gotta I gotta find a guy, I gotta find a husband. I'm ready. And she decided to get on the dating. She said I hadn't been on dating online uh, ever. And there was a guy that she finally met that she thought, Oh wow, this is interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard that story. And yeah. Um, yeah, she was about to go on a date with him. She was getting excited. It was all. He was like a complete scam artist and was on parole and was being charged by the FBI with like very, money laundering and fraud. And, yeah. and he presented himself really like established and smart and right. successful. And I'm just saying, right. Mm -hmm. It's dangerous, right? Didn't you have... Somebody, what was your headline? Was a Tinder date gone yes, bad? Yes. Yeah, he kept her. He kept her imprisoned for like 
three days or something. It's scary. It's from Tinder. Yeah. But I don't know what she swiped to get that. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, that's like an Uber driver, too. You could, yeah. I mean, you could get some crazy. Totally. I mean, do you know a, that my sparkly grandma was like kind of swindled? Aww. Did you know that? No. No. Oh, wait, Tell I kind of knew this. Tell that. So when she was in her, you know, her. Didn't she have a mirror over her bed? She had a mirror over her water bed. <laughs> she oh had mirrors lining every oh wall. She God. had a giant disco ball in the living room. Oh, oh it's so fantastic. <laughs> I love it. She was, yeah. it was like a, I loved being at her house because it was like a playground. Yeah. You know, it was just like everything she fun so at your fun. fingertips. She yes. was fun. It's, I think she was more fun. She, she was probably like, would make you crazy if she was your mother, but she was a really fun grandmother, you know? So as they should be. Yeah. So good. So she would rent out her, the rooms in her house oh, no. oh, right. for rent. Oh, right. So that's yeah, scary. after all the girls moved out, my mom and her two sisters, that's how she paid her mortgage or made extra money. And just, yeah. she just had renters. Yeah. Well, I got to find a renter. Got to find a renter. You know, all these like oh random gosh. people. So it's a little three bedroom house with like a garage that she converted. Oh my God. And then like some kind of weird garage in the back. So there Could were always had like Bundy movement. To well, totally. Ugh. Oh. So one of the guys that moved in, his name was Rick. I forget his last name, but anyway, they end up starting to date. I think she was in her 60s and he was maybe 30 oh, no. or but so. she was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Always still. was gorgeous, but still. Still. So, and he's like, you know, he loved like he dire to try straits out that water and bed. it was like money for nothing, mm -hmm. wanted to try the waterbed, like didn't really want to work. <laughs> like he was that guy, you know, like very 70s look, mm -hmm. kind of the curls and the mm -hmm. like kind of handsome and. So they start dating, and I remember being like 10, 11 years old, and my grandma saying, you know what? I told Rick we're not going to have sex anymore until he becomes a Christian. And I was like, oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> There's so much to process. <laughs> it was oh very confusing God. and like, wait, what? There's so It just doesn't – that sounds backward. I don't understand any of it. So – and he was smoking pot all the time, which oh I didn't God. even know was pot then. He would be like, girls, me and my friend would go over there all the time. Just don't touch my stuff. <laughs> and I was like, okay. like, And what? I thought he, he meant his grandma. weights. Oh. Like he had weights outside. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's what he meant. But it was the weed and the drugs <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the counter in retrospect that he was talking about. So <laughs> my grandma ends up moving to Hawaii with him. To no. Pahoa, Hawaii. They, she buys oh, a house. Nice. Oh, he no. never had a job. It's like the weed capital of the world or the country at the time it was. Or It's like a big, you know, just like weed fields everywhere or something. Not, not on the beach. Not like a beautiful. And he, I think, hit her a couple of times. Wait, you think? My, I think he did. He did. Like she, he did. she would call. I don't. I didn't see what oh. happened, but she would call my mom crying and like, oh. well, he pushed me down, or like, oh. like she was in a chair and he like pushed her the chair and she fell over. And so it was like just this gross oh. kind of. And then she's like, but he made me dinner and and he was real nice and he like fixes the roof and so she keeps him around. So anyway, full on intervention. My family, we go there, get her out. She caught him and like the bathroom shooting up with some girl like mm. crazy and anyway long story short he ultimately stole so much mm. money oh. from her like oh, that's so that was sad the, it was just that like to the extreme he was stealing all of this money and living for free and doing a lot of drugs so anyway my parent my mom and her two sisters like rip her away from hawaii ne she never sees him again i think i was like 15 or 16 when they finally you know, split. And then like a decade ago, my mom calls me in a like crazy energy panic that she saw Rick on an episode of emergency in the ER, like ER emergency Hawaii. And he was like a drug addict that came in. No. Like on one of those episodes. So he played oh. himself. Oh, played himself. My gosh. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he was aware he was acting. playing anything. He was... Uh, a victim of okay. an over, he was like an overdose we anyway just, we'll you just have to say be careful be careful okay. who you're falling for let me tell you a story deflate, last summer deflate that water bed is the moral deflate of that story that um <laughs> get a regular mattress people yeah. i think y'all came over last summer when this girl cooked one night oh, for wait, us. oh wait, wait, wait. 
Oh, no. Well, you met her. She was like doing some assistant. She was a great chef. She was a lawyer in the Czech, from the Czech Republic. Her oh, family yeah. had restaurants in Prague. She worked for you? Yep. Uh, and what happened? Off and on for the last year. Well, last, uh, like this February, March, I said, uh, Michaela, we're going to be in L.A. Don's having surgery in March. We're doing that. Maybe you can, because she was like, when will you be back? When you... Anyway, when I told her, she's like, uh, oh, I've got to be in San Diego that day, and I've got to do this. And then I'll... Anyway, long story short, she had met a guy online. He was supposedly some rich doctor, and he was, like you said, re madly in love all of a sudden on, mm -hmm. in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. He wanted to buy a 5 or $6 million house in San Diego and was just head over heels for her. They go to the closing, and he says, well, you got to put down your half. And she said, what? And she doesn't, but she gives him 100 thousand no. dollars why and why I, I, that's the other I thing that's don't... the other thing that i read this morning what if it comes to my, don't give somebody money low 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 self-esteem i just w I hope and want kathy oh. griffin to be oh. okay oh me too, me too. i just me too. think me too. i mean i don't really i do know her a little bit and i know she's made some mistakes in her life and who hasn't right right, right. and she, me, i've never have no but she has <laughs> yeah you know she had some difficult years she had difficult years but she's a comedian well and she's I, her, a comedian yeah, the all, crime didn't fit the punishment that no time. right all, all no. comedians make fun of people that's, that's what, what they do. Yes. That's their job. And we go there and laugh about and it. Sometimes, right. And sometimes they may go a little far, but that's... And sometimes they go far, common. and sometimes yes. that's funny uh, also. Right, right. But anyway, I just want her, I, I hope, and I know we all do, for her to be healthy and... Speedy recovery. Speedy, yeah, speedy recovery definitely. and yeah. thrive. That's all I hope. I yeah, agree. Me too. Okay. Totally. That was my, totally. It was neither kudo nor raggery. It's just, no, it's it a is. No, it's an opinion okay. piece. My it's neither a... here nor there, but it's really mostly a kudos is Simone Biles. Yeah, she's Good cute. Good for her. Yeah. All awesome. of it. Yeah. All yeah. of it. Yeah. Everything. Period. Everything, period. You know what my raggery is about all of this, though? What? They say she's suffering from the twisties. Yeah, mm -hmm. that she could hurt okay. herself. I know, but aren't these are like badass athletes. Right. Why are they calling it the twisties? I know, I don't like that either. That that. Me neither. Yeah, me it's too. like because they're cute little gymnasts and they're right, like, right. no, no, they're, you know, know, you're twisting. Like, yeah, yeah. Boom, well, so they call it the twisties. And some why don't they call the it what it is? Like yeah. a neurological. She's or human. Well, also, and, I think the pressure anyway, for these athletes. Yes. Is so extreme. Yeah. When are the? I, I I think it's amazing that they perform under this duress. I actually I think give kudos also to Suni Lee and to this Dressel, this Caleb Dressel, the swimmer. I mean, right. So he many said that he, with five gold medals, he still doesn't feel good. It's so much pressure oh for these God. people it's, to succeed and to yeah. win. And then and they lose by a, a tenth of a second. They're a loser because yeah. and they're number six, and it's like. A one tenth, two tenths, three, six tenths behind the winner. It makes me anxious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me you too. Know? Me too. This might be yeah. a kudos. I have a very good friend that's been my friend since the seventh grade, and her daughter, her name is Val, and her daughter coached the Olympic girls surfing team, oh, yeah. and they took the gold medal. That's a good kudos. That's, that's great. A great well, kudos. My, that's my great. kudos. Tracy is Axel, she was the coach. My, she has a gold medal. My kudos now. is Olympic related too. Okay. Gabby Thomas. Who is that? The Harvard oh, um, yes. epidemiologist. Is that what she, um she'll be not the she'll be the first if she does get the gold, which they say she will, she'll be the first Harvard grad. There's been other Harvard students. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think three others that have won a goal, but they didn't graduate. Amazing. And she's an ep epidemiologist. Incredible. It's well. unbelievable. It's incredible. Yeah. All these yeah. amazing. Uh, a little, little side hobby. Love How about yeah. the one that who has a 13 year old kid? Yeah. That uh, black runner. Did you yeah. see? I, her I, I kid was oh, 13. Yeah. I just oh, yeah. she all got day. the gold. By the and way, let me just say something. Running about... with a 13 after you've already had a kid for 13 years. Incredible. May I say something about these yes. girls that ran those hurdles, that did oh, those my hurdles? God. Were they gorgeous? Gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. The bodies those are faces, to die for. Those bodies, their fingernails. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were so yeah, beautiful. They, I agree. Oh my amazing. god. I agree. I love watching them. Oh. Do they have those kind of fancy yeah. fingernails? Are we going to say goodbye? Well, we're going to have to because I'll melt right here. Oh. I thought so. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> let me see your arms. Okay. No, Let's let say we can say goodnight. Okay. okay. We can say goodnight. Okay. Goodbye. Goodnight, everyone. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Au revoir. See you, girls. Bye.